Today, I want to talk to you about shadow work. It's something that you hear a lot in the spiritual world, but you don't often hear it defined. My name is Kelly Sparta. I'm a transformational shaman, and I do shadow work with people all the time. That's basically what I do. So uh, when we do shadow work, what we're talking about is we're talking about unwinding the buttons and the triggers and the, the things that send you flying that get you going from zero to 150 in five seconds flat, right? And these are the things that are often require that often require us to go in and dig out the things in the dark places, right? That's why they call them shadow work. It's all the stuff that we've stuffed into the corners because they're ugly to look at and we're afraid to look at them or we don't want to look at them or we think other people will judge us for them or you know that's parts of ourselves that we really don't like and so we hide them away in the in the in the closets in the corners and this is why it's called shadow work right now the thing about shadow work is that it is yes it is necessary um, but it can't be done until other things are done first and if you try to do it before other things are done first, then you end up hurting yourself, right? So there's a video on my website called The Stages of Healing, Why People Don't Heal and How You Can. And you can check that out and that'll explain to you what the earlier stages are. Uh, and my website's kellysparta.com. I'll put the link in the, in the show notes here uh, in the description. And, uh, you know, so you want to make sure you do those steps first. So let me just say that. Now, when it comes to doing your shadow work, there are a lot, a lot, a lot of different ways to do it. But ultimately, the goal of shadow work is to evolve yourself to the next level, which means when you become someone new, right, you're, when you're evolving your identity, right? And that's what you're doing when you're doing shadow work is you're changing how you see yourself, and so when you're evolving your identity and you're changing how you see yourself, what happens is that you are killing off the former you so that the new you can come into to existence, right? So like when you get married, the single you dies, right? And when you get divorced, the married you dies. There's a reason why we go through these processes. And, and, and the reason why we have these rituals is because they mark an ending point, right? Coming of age rituals says you're no longer a child. The child you has ceased to exist and you are now the adult you, right? These are the sorts of things that are transformational experiences, transformational events that change your identity. They fundamentally change the way you perceive yourself. Any shadow work you do is going to fundamentally change the way that you perceive yourself. And therefore, it will be killing off a former version of yourself. Now, the problem is that the former version of yourself has a survival mechanism. <laughs> and so it will resist it at every possible opportunity because it doesn't want to die. Okay. And so learning how to deal with your resistances is a crucial part of doing any sort of shadow work. And if you don't, if you're looking at programs that are going to offer to help you with doing your shadow work and they don't list how to identify and, and eliminate your resistances or how to at least learn how to address them, right, then they're probably not going to do as great a job as they could because you're going to hit a wall at some point because your ego is going to go, well, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. And it's going to put up whatever your default resistance is and maybe a couple of others to go along with it. And if you don't know how to recognize those, you could get stuck and you could fail to make your change. So pay attention when you're looking at shadow work programs to make sure that they're addressing resistances. Okay. Now, with that said, if you are further along in your journey, and you are looking for some help in getting your shadow work done. And when I say further along in, journey, in your journey, I mean, you've gone through the stages that we talk about in that video that I mentioned on my website. And you're thinking that you're, you're like, okay, I'm done with the beginner level stuff. And I'd really like to get some more advanced level stuff. Well, I got to tell you, it's hard to find. And because it's so hard to find, I decided to make it easier for you. And I put together a program called Evolve with Sacred Energetics. And it is a mentorship for intermediate to advanced seekers on how to harness the powers of the unseen world and how to level up your own energetic evolution into 
the fullness of your authentic self. And so as you go through and you're considering programs, I'd like you to consider this one. And you can find that also on the website. I'll put a link directly to it in the show notes in the, in the description below. But uh, I would really recommend that you take a look at it because it is a customized program. It is specifically for people who are further along in the process. I'm not going to make you go through all of the basics again. I, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some evaluation process with you, make sure that you know uh, everything that you needed to know in the foundation. And if you're missing anything, I'll fill in the gaps. But otherwise, we're basically going to start from where you are and move you forward. And we're going to do so powerfully in the direction that you choose. So it is very self-directed in that regard uh, with a lot of strong guidance from us in terms of, you know, we know where the next step is. And when I say we, there are two people in the program with me who are going to help you along. It's Kathy Shiron and Charlemagne Tremont, who are both doing uh, both on the podcast with me and who are both doing some of these minis with me as well. So uh, collectively, we have a hundred years of study and experience in the transformation field. And collectively, we have 75 years of experience facilitating rituals for others in this field. So uh, I invite you to check out that page and I hope you'll join us. I'll talk to you next time.